Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Steinauer. Let's talk about strabismus that results from a sickness, like um, a virus, maybe a fever associated with that. So if you're local to us, give us a call at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. You can either click on the schedule a consultation button or you can fill out a questionnaire for us. Now, let's go back. It's not commonly heard of that a virus can cause strabismus, but it can. And it's more common in children who would maybe have a high fever, like an ear infection or just a cold that's causing a high fever, like a flu virus. Um, and the result may be within a day or so after that, that all of a sudden you notice your child is waking up with an eye turn in or out or up. More commonly would probably more be like in or out. This is a form of an acquired strabismus or an eye turn. And what can be done about it? It's really scary when it happens because obviously the parents are thinking, oh my gosh, what's going on? Well, obviously your first step is to make sure that everything is okay with your child, that they're healthy, that there's not anything else going on. We do want to rule out something serious like a brain tumor even that could be occurring. But if it's happened right after a fever, it's more likely than not going to be associated with that virus. Your pediatrician is probably going to be able to, you know, weigh through all of these things with you and help alleviate your concerns about something more serious. By the time that you get to me, those things should have been figured out. And we should know it probably was caused by a virus. And now what are we going to do about it? Because irregardless of what happened, we need to try to fix that. We need to try to train the brain to align the two eyes better again together so that your child doesn't have a constant eye turn. Well, you hear me talking about my little favorite goodies. <laughs> I don't know why I call them goodies, but anyway, I love Syntonics. And so our Syntonics goggles are something that we use to electrically trigger the brain to send a signal to the muscles, and we can kind of trigger the muscles to maybe behave again, right? So if the muscle has turned in or out, we can trigger the muscle to learn how to properly align itself again. This is something that's like electrically done with the brain sending signals to the muscles to um, realign the eyes after an acquired strabismus associated with the fever or sickness. So like a virus. Now if you want more information about about how we do this, maybe you have a child that did you know develop a sickness and then they developed an eye turn afterwards and you've been really concerned and don't know where to turn. Well, you can contact us. If you're local, call us at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com and you can either click on a schedule a consultation or you can fill out a questionnaire for us. Either one of those actions will get a result where we're talking to you about how we can help your child learn how to use their two eyes better together again and regain their binocularity in depth perception and get rid of the double vision that they are experiencing. Now, if you like this video, we'd love it if you like and subscribe to our channel. Obviously, click the all bell icon so that you receive notifications of all of our videos. And if you know someone that a virus or sickness has you know, affected and it maybe did cause them to develop an acquired eye turn or strabismus, we'll pass this video along to them as it could really be something super helpful. They may not know that there's a treatment out there that exists that can help them regain their normal binocularity. Thank you.